Policy Customization By the end of this training, you'll be able to modify firewall and application control policy and create a manual rule. The basics of a policy is any traffic can be categorized into its own source, destination, and service. So, for example, I can say any traffic coming from any destination can be my DMZ, for example. Service can be FTP. So, whenever traffic comes in and we can match it to a rule with these categories, we have an action. The action can be drop or accept. As we saw in a previous video, you already have default rules to protect your organization. However, in this video, we'll see how to customize it and add more rules to your policy. In order to demonstrate this, you will need access to your Quantum Spark, you'll need to have the right credentials, and you'll need to know what's the organization's network and security needs. Do you want to block that website? Do you want to allow that website? And so on. Here I am from Access Policy. I'm going to enable Block File Sharing Applications. And let's press Apply. I'm now connected to a new client, which is protected by Quantum Spark, meaning all of my traffic here goes through Quantum Spark. Let's try Access Dropbox. The site can be reached. Now let's try to access WeTransfer. blocked as well. So currently this rule that I've enabled blocks Dropbox as well because it's a file sharing application. I'm going to policy. Let's refresh this page. So now if I'll go to undesired applications, I have file sharing applications as well. Now. I want to override it. So yes, I want to block file sharing application, but Dropbox is a website that I do want to use. I do want to allow that website. So I'll need to override this. I'm going to create a manual rule on top. Source, let's have it specific from our LAN networks. Destination is internet an application let's search for dropbox accept keep a log uh, no need to modify any of that press apply okay now let's go back to the windows client machine refresh and now it works because now I've added the manual rule to allow that specific traffic. In my case, it was Dropbox, but you can go ahead and add whatever traffic you want to allow within your organization. Thank you for watching.